Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel. Hello little biscuit, how are you doing today my lovely? Are you ready for another episode of Let It to Lady? Where we will teach you elocution like how to pronounce spaghetti. Spaghetti. I think I'm incidentally actually giving uh, my neighbours a bit of a show today. There's some construction workers nearby who can sort of see in my window, so I think I'm incidentally giving them a bit of a show with this outfit. You know what? The Ledette never falls far from the lady, does it, Biscuit? No. This, my loves, is a bodysuit and there's like some belting detailing like under here. It is by Manier d'Ivoire if you're wondering where I got it from. I'm very busty today though, my goodness. Big titty lady videos on the internet. So, my lovelies, in the last episode of Ledette to Lady, we kind of saw at the very end of the episode how scrupulous or unscrupulous, I'm not sure which, which word to use here, unfriendly the judges were when uh, the last lady was evicted, when they were like, oh, look at her, you see how she behaved at the end, from that little window scene. I think that's very telling that the judges in this show don't particularly respect the women that come on it. And you know what? I'm all here for learning new skills and learning new things about yourself or your psyche. But I'm not here for ridiculing people if they find out they don't actually like it, you know. Oh, that's nice. One of the top comments on the last episode of Ladette to Lady is by Asmen Nixon7245. And they say, the absolute farce of cooking this dinner is that the kind of young women who usually attend a finishing school would not be preparing a meal like this themselves. This is a task that will be handled by professional chefs, caterers, florists, and Somalias. Are they teaching these women to be high class ladies or household staff? The classist understones and implications in this episode are very insulting. <gasps> Tea. Absolute tea. That is absolutely correct. When would you ever see uh, an elocution elected lady? That's not the right phrasing. I'm on new ADHD meds today and they're working wonderfully for a change. When would you ever see high class women, lady, leisure, lady, women being like, do you know what? Let's get rid of the staff and cook our own souffles in the kitchen, girls. Come on, get your Prosecco. I just don't feel like that's very accurate. I don't know. In the cooking section of this show, I would have sort of expected them to go down the route of like, the lady is a key staple in the household. Maybe she should be tasked on how to manage the staff of a kitchen. Oh dear God. So my lovelies, and so Little Biscuit, you've been really lovely recently. He's been very clingy. I think he's just entering puberty and he's got big feelings for such a tiny little blonde boy. Today I am back on the Monster Ultra Fiesta, aren't I Biscuit? Oh yes, it's nice and cold, yes. One of my favorite flavors, and I haven't had it for ages, so do you know what? Mango girls. Nothing like it. Pop your ohringa in and let's watch. Ladette to Lady, season one, episode three. I wonder how much misogyny and classism we're gonna see today. I wonder, Little Biscuit. Spaghetti. Da 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 da, let's dribble with beer. A woman's garter and a lovely handbag. Oh look, carry that glass around the room, that's what posh ladies do. They don't drink at all, no, no, they, oh look, a wedding fashion show. Oh. Is there gonna be a fashion show in this episode? La to la douage. Okay, here we are, Eggleston Hall. Week of term at Eggleston Hall finishing Eggle. school. Right. Breakfast, the, girls the lighting again. An invitation. <gasps> An invitation. For black tie dinner and overnight stay at our home on Friday the 9th of April. <laughs> Oh right, so they're being invited to an actual country home. Country house weekend is the biggest challenge the Ladettes have faced so far. All right. Hang on, hang on. We're going overnight stay. We've got to be on best behaviour from 4 p.m. till the next morning. <laughs> Interesting. Is this like? Hang on. Let me pause. Uh, I, I have a thought. Uh, don't have too many of them. So, if you were to stay in like a country house at the guest. Behest? Is that the word? At the host's behest. There's so many unwritten rules in these like high society circles. Like even the way you have your fork on your plate, like your knife and fork on your plate when you're like coming towards the end of dinner. If you have your like knife resting between your fork, it's like, this is the worst meal I've ever had. Shoot the chef girls. She's dead. Whereas if you're just like, oh, I've got it arranged like this. It means like moderately upset, but actually enjoyed. Like there's so many, so, so many unwritten rules. So I do wonder how this is gonna go. Cause clearly it's gonna be a setup of like, oh look, the wild ones invite the wild ones round to dinner. Let's, let's see. I don't know how I would behave in this. I mean, this would not be an appropriate outfit unless I was going there as a showgirl. <laughs> I mean, I paint like one, so why not dress like one? Let's see what sort of shenanigans they get up to, girls. That'll be it. 
Right. Hello. Oh, here she is. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, what is the lighting? Are you? Who are you? Whether they can behave like ladies remains to be size seen. Size of that lapel, but at Rose. Least they can look the part. And Principal Jean Broke Smith has invited Stephen Way and his team of hairdressers. Stephen to Way of the Whey Protein Dynasty. Look, <gasps> hairdressing, makeovers. Right. So all this sort of London, sort of you know, like let's be funky stuff. Get the London look. Yeah, because you need to be more elegant. Okay. okay. Elegance is a new concept. Oh, here we go. For Rachel Carter Eagleton. Rachel Carter Eagleton. Oh, yeah, this is the one where she's like, willies. I love lots of willies. I just forget where I am and how I need to act. She's been sent to finishing school by her parents, who are desperate for her to acquire some polish. Okay. I want to do this because I want to prove to my old man that I can be a lady. Well, she's got like a bit of like... accent. It's so South London. What's this? It's like her accent. That I can be a lady. Well, I don't like her accent. It's so South London. It cuts you to the ground. My God. Is that her father? I don't get the feeling that this family is potentially like of like Ledette quality, what we've been led to believe. Like this family sounds like they come from, I don't know, judging by his accent, it sounds like quite well to do. She's got a very Carnaby Street attitude about her though, like her hairstyle, her pearls. But her father there being like, Oh, her accent is so South London. It really grinds you to the core. Imagine saying that about your child. It could never be me. Biscuit, are you very South London? Yeah, I love the Thames. I don't think you could ever take the South London girl out of me, but maybe you could put a bit of lady in me. Well, just do what you got to do. I mean, I don't care. I can't, I can't yeah. you say I don't know. You just got to do it. <laughs> I feel like everyone, if they want to, can go through an amount of refining for certain situations. I feel like, you know, weddings are a great example of this. As a makeup artist for X many, 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 many years, as you probably know throughout as many times as I've told you all, there's always like a style that people generally have or they generally like. And then for big events, there's a way of like fine tuning it to fit with the brief of the event. Like with wedding, usually someone will be like, I love a brown smoky eye. So you do like a quite a, an impactful brown smoky eye for that event. I do wonder what this is already right here, right here on this freeze frame, we can see the hairdresser going in with wet hair with a razor. So she's getting layers. Trini will be pleased. Oh my God. I'm sorry, that's a lot of layering. Should By you layer now, curly hair like that? are used to wearing twin sets, court shoes and A-line skirts. Right. But this makeover is a radical change to their identity. Shaving heads, all of them. Oh look, I really want one of them. What's this? Oh my gosh. How art imitates life, girl. The sobbing client in front of the painted hunting dogs. Art. Have they changed her blonde? It's wig on. It's disgusting. It's making the piece. They can't, seriously. Do you know what I mean? This is just not right. It's being a lady and it's making it like this stupid old granny. And I don't want it. Oh no, I can understand her frustration here because my immediate vibe was berries and cream. Berries and cream? Oh, hurrah! Berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. Berries and cream, berries and cream. Oh, I'm a little lad who loves berries and cream. I really do get a little bit like, my skin gets a bit itchy when I watch makeovers and they take platinum blondes or really light blonde people deeper colors without using just like a direct dye because it takes so much effort and time and money to go and maintain being blonde. To suddenly take that away from someone is such a like a huge identity change. If my hair was dyed to this like, like light milk chocolate brown, my vibe would be immediately changed. So I can understand the anguish here. <laughs> The makeover is revealing an unexpected streak of vulnerability in these brash young women. They're not the best way to do it is obviously you get rid of some of the limbs. I'm not, it's staying long, I'm telling you that now. It's, I'm not, not being rude, but it is staying long. This is my hair, this is my life. Oh, she's laughing like, you think? Well, we're gonna cut it off, girl, pixie. Finishing. What is it about all the sort of like elite high society that's like, all the ladies, short hair, like, why? I swear like if we see things like debutante's balls, which are a whole different type of, I don't know, problem in themselves. Do we ever see like the ladies being given like short round haircuts? No. School to try and throw off her cheap brassy image. Brassy. Over the last two weeks, she's severely tried the patience of the staff. She might, she my, might just my be feeling a bit frustrated though. My window with my blue hair, my nose ring and my tattoos. 
Why are we even beginning to change it then, if you were well, quite happy with the way it was before? You tell me. <gasps> T. I'll feel sick. Oh no, is she going I'll this time? I feel physically sick. I wish they put their names on the screen because it's like a month between each one of her films. So I'm like, what's this lady's name? I've got the DVD here. What's her name? Who is that? What's her name? Miscellaneous Lady B. Let me just say, that is quite a cover art, isn't it? Like, look, they're like, sit down and give us as much attitude as possible, girls. You can tell the ADHD maids have kicked in because I've just also picked up this. They're trying to give her this lady's hairstyle all the time, trading spaces. They hated it, girl. This hairstyle, which I like to lovingly call the Una. <laughs> Listen to me. Right. I've been trying to say this, I know, I know, and it's really important. Really important. Where are you? What are you doing? I know. Here. I know. If you want to be, if you want to be, you know, where you're from, and, like, hang out, go to clubs, and do that, and be all trendy, then we'll cut it trendy. But what's the point in that? I'm still 22. I know you oh. are. 22. 22. This hairstyle. 45. She's dead. Not 50. But classic. Is granny. Classic What's is classic granny. about That's that granny. hairstyle? Hello. Like, I, I'm not rinsing anyone here who's got this hairstyle, but like, I don't classify. Would you ever classify this hairstyle as like classic elocution, like Eccleston Hall educated girl? Like, I wouldn't. A 22 year old with this kind of cotton colour does not give like vibrant, young, excitable lady to me. Does it to you? No. No. They've given her the same hairstyle as this woman here. Look. Rachel. Come and sit down. She's going to be like, I love Rachel's your hair You need, need a bump it. Jean Broke Smith. Right. And she's been summoned to the principal's 22. office. 22. I oh. think you look fantastic. Do you? Well. It, it looks softer and it looks certainly more the way that I wanted you to be. Okay. Just like me are. Very brassy. They just took away me today. Yes. Oh, I think you're going to be a far better me. That's what I'm, but there is a, to me... I'm sorry, there has to be a middle ground. The blonde me, the, the hair, that was me. Mm. And then taking that away was just emotional. 100%, you are allowed to be emotional at a dramatic change. We're going to make a lady of you. But in some cases, the transformation is remarkable. Trans, the transformation. None more so than for gas fitter Michelle. Oh. Are they giving her a perm? Is she liking it? I can't tell. Sort of a bit of both. Oh, Gasping in the hairdressers. Wow. Oh my gosh, she looks better. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, a lot of the colour choices they've made are a bit too deep for these girls' skin tones because it can come across as a little bit, for lack of a better phrase, a little bit like Amazon wig. Bands now with a feather to come out for <laughs> Friday. <laughs> I tell you. Constance Hardbroom. I can't believe I'm looking at the same people no, when they walked into the hall. I cannot believe it. You are completely and utterly different. Mm. All you do is just don't open your mouths yet. Okay, let's have all. Oh, just don't open your mouths yet. God, what's she going to have them say? Spaghetti. Okay, so let the blonde lady here. I really actually like what they've done. That's actually like quite a classy, elegant, like almost like news anchor style. Kind of like you could see it on a news presenting segment on like a morning show. But some of the other choices I'm very confused about. They don't even seem to be of the time. This was what, 2007, 2009? Let me actually just double check. Okay, this series is actually from 2006, which means it was probably filmed in 2005. They're not hairstyles, a particularly of 2005. This is very interesting. <laughs> Makeover episodes are always so controversial. Now do it with a B. Spaghetti. The girls are expected to wear bone props at all times bone and props. to practice elocution for at least 10 minutes every day. But Kate Forrester doesn't oh, it's a think bit culty, there's been enough progress. God. And this week, she decides to get tough. Are any of these judges ever happy? The only time we ever see a judge being happy is Rosemary when everyone's uncomfortable. And she's like, yes, I love seeing you all severely upset. Hey, Paul. Not good. <laughs> there hasn't been practice, has there? You couldn't find your way around there at all. Mimi. That was Mimi. I haven't practiced. No, I'm afraid it's a twenty pound fine. Ah, uh, fine. Not doing homework. 
Find? Let's move on with stuff. Have you ever seen a TV show that finds the contestants? What is this? Start with you, Claire. Let's start with the no. God. No. 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 Hayley? Yes? Well done. Oh, thanks. <laughs> oh, dear. Thank Immediate you. electric chair. Thank you. Yes. No one finds it harder than Hayley. The Cockney, who works as a PA, was nominated for the finishing school by her boss. Oh, yes. Can you imagine? I was about to say, being a PA is actually quite a, like, it's quite, a, quite an achievement career, isn't it? You know, there's training involved, there's a level of prestige involved. But to have your boss there, imagine if I got a PA and I was like, I don't think you're lazy-like enough. No, off to the <laughs> finishing school with you. Specifically because of her strong accent and foul mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, 100%. Oh, she's like, no, how funny. we're turning you we're into a lady. <laughs> this was the biggest hurdle of all, I tell you. If this is what being a lady <laughs> is, I'll who wants to do all you. that? I'll tell you. <laughs> but at least Hayley I'll tell has you the right what? attitude, unlike Jessica, who objects to wearing her bone prop. No, no, keep it, keep it on the string. I'll put it back on the string afterwards. No, I should keep it on, honestly, because otherwise you're going to have to keep putting the thing down. And... It's choking me. No, put so. it round your neck. I'll throw off the shuffle. You won't. Put it round your neck. <laughs> Jessica, fine. Not enough progress made. Well, we haven't got that. Far. You can't just author... Oh, I think Jessica might be going this week. Just from how much we've seen of her already and we're like 10 minutes in. I do feel like, you know, if you are like, oh, I don't really like this around my neck. I don't feel like this section is making accommodations. Like, what is... Actually, let's look at the length of string here. Compared to the Gaswitzer lady next to her, it looks like the string is a lot longer. Maybe hers is a bit shorter. It's just a bit like, get it off. This is very frustrating. I can understand that entirely. If you're already uncomfortable, you want to try and do things that can make you feel more comfortable in completing a challenge. I don't feel like this lady is giving her any slack at all. And that's so, that's TV production. But also I just feel like some of these, some of these elite training women are very, well, I had to suffer, so so must you. Like how is progress made that way? It's not. I'd just like to say that we haven't got five minutes to even have a shower. Oh, you poor little hard done by creatures. Do you want to manage to last the course or not? Don't take it personally. Come on, How can you not take it personally? Jess, I know it's hard. I, I know. can't. Yes, you can. Come on. Because we're going to do it. Okay, can I just go on? It's the same as with Janice Dickinson's modelling agency. When you're upset and you're feeling frustrated, the last thing you want is the problem coming up to you, putting their hands on your lap and going, you can do it. Oh my God, you can. Like, has anyone ever thrived from that sort of treatment? Never. Thanks, please. Two minutes. Go on. Deep breath. Go on. Deep this breath. This reminds me very much. So when I was in school, we had German lessons with a very intense teacher. And he would always start the lesson by saying, we will move through this topic as fast as the fastest person in the room. That is such an unhelpful way to teach because anyone who's struggling even a little bit is going to immediately fall behind so fast. And of course they're going to get frustrated and feel overwhelmed. And also that's not teaching. If you're already teaching people who can do it, that's not teaching. That's just, I don't know, having a conversation. God's sake. Right, Mimi. Let's see it, Mimi. Is it Mimi or Mimi? Okay. <gasps> oh, very stressed. We've just been suppressed, suppressed, suppressed. Now Jess was either going to floor her <laughs> yeah. or cry. I thought I'm even going to scream at her. Yeah, she keeps going shush, 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 shush. Yeah. And I'm like, Exactly. Like Frustration. Is through swearing and shouting. <laughs> and we're not allowed to do that because exactly. it costs you money. Exactly. <laughs> I'm 20 quid down. I'm mean, I... Give these women access to a punching bag and they'll probably be a lot better, you know? There needs to be a way of releasing tension. I think throughout this show, we've kind of already seen that a way that these women uh, reduce their, like, weekly tension is by having fun and partying at the weekend, which isn't really a problem. I mean, it's a problem when you start to think about like binge drinking and how much that can negatively affect your life, but everyone needs a way in their life to unleash tension. For me, going to the gym, visualizing where I want to be and the power that I need to exert on myself and my surroundings to achieve that is a way of releasing tension. I also very much enjoy video games and I love doing Twitch as well, which reminds me, today's Twitch shout out goes to Ghost 
Mostly Vile. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with the chance of being featured on my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me over on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays, and I stream every Monday and Thursday, my lovelies. And with that, back to the video. I got no money. What's going on? You can't just be yelled Jessica at has been summoned to see Jean Brown. Oh, not Smith. summoned. Court summoned. See you in court. The principal has heard about her behavior in class, but is pleased with oh, Jessica's new look. Now you've got a, a softer, more feminine hairstyle. It's the Rachel, but box dye. You know, more of a ladylike hairstyle. Are you going to be a different you? I am going to be a different me. Tell me. I don't know. It seems like everyone said I'm more approachable now with yes. lighter hair because it lightens up. Yes, well, you were very nice <gasps> like this at first, weren't you? What does that mean? <laughs> Elaborate? I just think you look totally different now. <laughs> I re I'm really pleased because I want to see a softer you. Are you, up, you really Not everything's about being soft. Sometimes you want to be a bit tough and spiky. Jessica is prepared to go oh, even further. <gasps> Gather round, Put girls. Put a bit of blue in, yes. This is the passing of the blue Ledette. <laughs> <laughs> she has agreed to a ritualistic burning of her hair extension. Right, OK. It's a prayer for the blue Ledette. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no! Oh, oh my goodness. Well done, How flammable really was that? Be doing that. Because that's quite something. I know you feel quite sensitive about it. That's my rebellious streak. Just I know that's shoot. your rebellious streak. <laughs> oh, look, that woman is like, yes, get rid of it. Oh, gorgeous. I love the countryside. To... I need to pissing move to the countryside. My next place that I live, countryside. I want a nice little garden for biscuit. Little biscuit. Right. What we're going to talk about is Who sexual is this? etiquette. First of all, I want... Sorry? First sin was intercourse. Sexual etiquette. First of all, I want to know how many of you... Lie back and think of England. ...are in a relationship. Great. <laughs> Zero. Not one of you. <laughs> You're going to a party. Tell me how you feel you should behave. You're going there with an intention of having a good time, aren't Pulling. you? God, Claire God. has plenty of experience <laughs> of that. Does the amateur she? pole dancer has been sent to finishing school by her parents, amateur who are dancer. desperate for her binge drinking and promiscuity to end. When you say pulling, you mean you're going to find somebody and... Chat them up and... And chat them up mm -hmm. and... Snog them. And snog them. Take em. them home. <laughs> She's trying to get sleep with them. Does that work? No, it doesn't. No, OK. Does anybody else agree with that way of behaving? Usually I, I, I end up wearing beer goggles and <laughs> find men completely attractive. What's a beer goggle? Drunk. Oh. Drunk. Oh, After God, a few drinks, go. April's personality is unrecognisable. The nurse turns into a wild, irresponsible exhibitionist. Why do you... I feel like this might potentially be... I don't want to put words in people's mouths. I don't want to put experiences on people that don't have them. But anyone here who's a bit like me, who maybe has, like, social anxiety or potentially something else, like ADHD, some form of, like, neurodivergence, when you binge drink, all of your anxieties go. And you know what I have come to learn over my short while here on this planet is that a little bit of anxiety is actually quite necessary because if I take that all away, monster, absolute monster, and not the fun kind either. Do that. What are you trying to achieve? I have no idea. <laughs> it's a question of putting a value on yourself. Look at and that And if hair. you make yourself sheep, then men are going to take advantage of it. They're going to love it, absolutely. But they're not going to call again. I totally agree with what you're saying, mm. but I just wanted to make my, me go and pinch a boat's bum is just harmless fun. Why don't you like me saying it cheapens you? No, because it just because we're not cheap. Excuse me, if you go up to a guy and you pinch his bum, that's cheap. Mm, not sure I would agree with that. I feel like this is very like a woman should never be in control of herself because men don't like that. They get spooked or they like it too much and then you're pegging them in the boudoir, girls. <gasps> Honestly, I don't understand what these judges want. It's like they want to set them up to fail at every turn. I guess that's the kind of the point of the TV show, isn't it? Like, with they, these women are put on display and the public is meant to be like, oh, I'm just like that. Or like, oh my God, could you imagine being like that? No, Margaret, look, look at these women, Margaret. Aren't they awful? Oh, that's terrible. Thank you. You've You've never done that. You've never done that. Ever, ever, ever. No. Oh, Lies. Never ever. <laughs> I 
feel like a lot of the women from high society are quite like very, promiscuous. Very slowly, it makes that man more and more interested, and all the time it is building up energy. Okay. What does happen eventually is that energy will explode, <laughs> and it will explode when the time is right. And if you have ever do, I need to put an age restriction on this video. Tried that. I have to tell you, it's the best sex. The party you bible. Ever have in your life. Okay. okay. <laughs> I wouldn't trust this blonde lady to have the best sex of her life, tart, though. Slapper, and all I've got back is being treated like one. And that's when I just thought, you know. Claire, man, you've got to sort it out. A I lot do, of what she said is... I'm really stopping and talking the whole way through this. I do apologise. I've got a lot of opinions today. I do feel like, from my own experience of, like, dating, when going out to nightclubs and meeting, like, potential romantic interests and things like that, there is an art to being desirable without being seen as easy. And I feel like that's the important thing to remember, being seen as easy. You can actually decide yourself whether you want to go out and like have sex with someone like that's absolutely fine. That doesn't make you easy. But I feel like if you want a certain type of relationship to last, there is an art to finding that relationship, which is why dating itself is so hard. And if you have anything slightly different about yourself, makes dating even harder. It really inspired me to go, actually, yeah, like, you know, what the hell was I doing? OK, maybe I this is thought, a bit of a Yeah, talk. come on, Claire, time for a change. Because if you carry on the way you're going, you're never going to get a nice man. Never, ever. <sighs> With Painfully the country house weekend approaching, the girls need something special to wear. Into the minivan, the the off to the boutique. To a dress shop. Oh, that's too white. <laughs> oh, that's a bit <laughs> wedding. Too late, no, no. Like a big meringue. Yeah, oh, no. They've been 22. instructed to select classically elegant evening dresses okay. to match Ooh, their that's new hairstyles. Nice. Oh my god! Oh. Yes. It's the batch situation it's a bit busy. again. I can't get these sorted out. This is my personality going crazy. No, got, it's a black tie dinner, though, isn't it? Black tie dinner. Black tie dinner. It's not black tie dinner. No, no. no. So that you're not adhering to the. Whole... It needs to be chic, deep colours. But some of the ladettes are still finding it hard to come to terms with their new image. I must admit, it must be a lot easier now to find out references for like things you're going to. Let's just like I've never been to an absolute like golden award show black tie event. I've never, ever been to one. I'd like to feel like I, I might already know how to like push my style into that, but that's because I wear a lot of black anyway. Anything that's like formal, a little bit of like decolletage on show, maybe the shoulders out, is an easy way to access elegance. And I wonder now, like if I didn't know what type of event I was going to, I would literally just type it into Pinterest, look at all of the pictures that come up and be like, oh, easy. Back in this day, 2006, I mean, we did have access to the internet. There probably was like forums and help pages and things. I don't know, I guess it's all a bit of a learning curve, isn't it? All a bit of a learning curve. We could get me this cocktail. No, these are a bit cocktail. Oh, a bit of PVC. I just feel like, I've got my cocktail dress, it's black. It's black, but it's not. She would actually have a heart attack. I do actually black tie. I like it. A well-placed gown slip. I'm going with it. Going with it, definitely. It's a little and prom, it fits on but it top. might work. If I just have my bra and chicken fillets in, it'd be even better. Oh Back dear. At Edmiston Hall, Claire feels confident enough. So every other challenge in the show, they're given like an, 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 a, a, quite a lot of guidance, loosely phrased guidance. It's mostly just Rosemary being like spaghetti, spaghetti. There, we just saw them bundle into a minivan, get taken to a local boutique and just sort of like let loose to like pick themselves. We didn't see a style guru or anything, anyone there being like, do you know what? These are the vague rules that you kind of have to adhere to. In these high society meetings and gatherings, although there's all these unwritten rules, there are ways that you can slightly bend the rules to make yourself more... I don't know what the word is even to use here. I guess appealing to the situation. In her choice of dress to play a practical joke on this the is... principal. Oh dear, and this is a little um, bit of like an essay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear, she's gone. I've got my outfit on and bear in mind that none of the dresses properly fitted me. <gasps> Fine, I'll be out in about two seconds. Do you oh want to dear. go in the common room? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> <laughs> she's got You're a sense really of humour. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> No, I'm not. It's just you are dreadful. 
Oh, oh aren't we? Far? We, we do have a joke. We certainly make an indelible impression. Yeah. And the you boots don't? are not exactly boots? green wellies. No. It's just not really right for the no. country. Right. The dress fitting has revealed another thing about the girls' clothes that needs to be sorted out. Oh, here we go, lingerie. I don't know how much I can put in. We'll try to. June Kenton from Rigby and Pella used to lecture at Lucy Clayton's finishing school. Oh. She's come here to overhaul the ladettes' underwear. They're hanging out, aren't they? Once gravity calls, that is it. Can you, can you Once out? gravity calls, that is, that is it. it. Well... How does that feel? Could you have a look at yourself, please? That's quite nice. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. Yeah, look it's very pretty. Her. It's quite Isn't revealing, that? though, isn't, isn't that? that? Wonderful. <laughs> Always wear an underwear bra. Grab what you've got and bring it to the front, because some of you haven't got that much. I'm staggered. What? The girls are beginning to realise that dressing like ladies needn't mean looking like frumps. Well, unfortunately, all these judges want you to. This bra, this outfit reminds me very much of the Richard and Judy boob situation. Do you remember that? <laughs> Do you want the truth? If she doesn't buy this bra, I'm going to commit. <laughs> Is this a fair six B? No. That's a bit much. This is a 34 C. Oh, I'm a C. Bring it on. <laughs> oh. I like this guy. Do you know, I thought I was a 36 C. There is no way. <laughs> Five, six, seven. Oh. He loves for the me, he loves me not. Isn't the only challenge faced by the ladettes. That will be great. You can see it's got lovely lines, that, can't you? Lessons continue oh, throughout the week, this, and the girl... The same thing as last time, the Oasis. Do you remember the Oasis? Oh, Oasis. This ...must show progress in all subjects if they are to avoid expulsion. Right. And the curriculum is becoming increasingly difficult. Right. So this is what we're aiming for... A corset. ...by the end of today's lesson, to be at this sort of stage. Ooh. So I'm you really will take the two maybe. inches off your waist push you all up a little bit and give you some sort of um, super-duper bus line. But it's classic cookery with Rosemary Schrager that presents the biggest hurdle. I said this last time, and I've said it in the episode before, I actually really liked watching Rosemary on other shows. I thought she was just quirky and relatable and kind of funny, but she's really been quite horrible in this show. And it kind of makes me feel a bit like, oh, Rosemary, why are you doing all this? Is she going to yell at them about cornstarch, girls? Spaghetti. I'm going to show you what to do. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no. go. Is he still alive? Please don't stroke him. He is he's alive. alive. <gasps> now, oh, no. what I'm going to do is, I'm now going to kill him off because we have to do it quickly. And I'm going to tell you exactly where to do it. OK, Claire. Oh, I'm not putting this in. Look, we must I'm do I'm not this. going to look. I'm sorry, but I'm not. Last week was enough for me. I'm not going to do that. And I mean it. I can't kill things. I'm sorry, but I'm not doing that. Stand I'm your sorry. ground. Well, this has to be done, Claire. Rosemary, oh, go I'm home. Do it. I'm sorry. Come on, Claire, turn round. Come on. You can close your eyes. Just turn round and close your eyes. Well, You've then literally what, got let to let take her face your the way. Let her you be excused from this. Cross like this. And you've got to go down very quickly. Oh. Oh. Okay. Right, I'm now going to put it straight into boiling water. It's rolling, boiling. Now, I'm just going to get the others out now. We've never killed anything in our life, and I don't think we were about to start now. Oh, I can't do this. Are they dead? Are they dead? Oh. Oh. Practical joke has a purpose. The ladettes are so relieved they won't have to kill the lobsters that cutting them up will be easy. You're going to learn. There is a severe difference between killing something and like preparing it to be eaten. I I do not appreciate that. Like, ha ha, we've just murdered a lobster. Eh. No, like on occasion, even though I'm vegetarian, I will eat seafood. This is actually from having my FFS done in Marbella and realizing that I didn't want to eat five cheese pizza for every single meal of every single dish of every single day. I actually started to incorporate a tiny amount of seafood occasionally, but like my dog will eat meat. There is no way that I'm going to go out and like slaughter a lamb 
and then prepare lamb. Like I'm more than happy to just purchase already like processed lamb in order to make him a little food that will last him throughout the week. How to dress a lobster. Right, dressing a lobster. First things first. Pronouns you she, her. You it on the top. That's your job for now. Oh, so very messy, aren't they? Okay, like, can I just go food. through? In the middle, that's it, well done, that's it, keep going. I honestly thought I was going to pass out and walk out the class. Oh, I thought, I can't do Gosh. this. I really can't do this. Mm. But then again, Miss Schrager helped me get through it and overcome it. She has come on she? leaps and bounds as a person. When she came through the door, I really didn't think she would last a week. Right. There was something almost raw with her. A bit like taking the lobster from sauce. We were taking her from sauce and transforming her into something. Into a lobster. A, a sort of swan. Not the swan, girls, the swan! Why aren't you making it to the pageant? Which is incredible. I've proven myself that I can do it. Right. But it took balls of steel, big balls well, of steel. That was a show back in the day, wasn't it? The presenter of that show is also now a right-wing commentator. Okay, girls, now. Gales. When you arrive at the dining room, there is going to be a table plan. Right. Look at the table plan. Is this like the escort challenge? Like romance a man and stay in his country house? It's Thursday night, and the girls have one last vital class oh, was with Liz a, Brewer a before the country house plan. weekend. Right. Now, the first thing you do when you sit down, do you know what oh, it is? Oh, she looks very glamorous. Napkin. Napkin! So does she. Tomorrow evening, the girls will be expected to negotiate their way through a minefield of etiquette. Yes. How See would this? you eat Unwritten your rules. bread? I understand. Okay, and what would you do? I'd do the same, but I have a feeling that for some unknown reason... No, you know, Jessica, I want you to tell me, not try and think, how am I going to get the right answer here? I want no, you to I tell me, said... what, what would you do? I'd use my hands. Okay. She's really going you... for her. This poor Jessica girl. Like, she, basically, she's just said exactly what I would do, which is literally like, I know you've said to do this, but I have a feeling that this is wrong. That should be rewarded. That level of intuition to know that potentially you have to change the way that you behave in a situation that should be rewarded not gone no jessica just tell me how you do it so i can tell you that you're wrong like that's does that help anyone do not do is cut it right you take a roll you break it you don't cut it. Why? But bread rolls will be the least of their problems. Why aren't they served the with a small bread knife? The menu will include delicacies. Obviously not that elegant. He eats chicken, beef or chips. So tonight, Jessica, you are going to just try a little bit. I'm sorry, but I've done it. If you don't, I have to tell you, you're insulting your hostess. Cut it. If you don't, if you really can't eat it, but you haven't even tried it. If you really no. can't eat it, take it off and eat the vegetables underneath it. Very well, Jessica, so you're refusing to eat. What is a loyal toast? A loyal toast Oh, I can see her over there doing loyalty something. Loyalty to the reigning monarch, OK? Sorry, Sorry what? The, what is a loyal toast? A loyal toast is loyalty <laughs> to the reigning monarch, OK? Sorry, so, who do you think it is? I don't know. Oh, you don't know who you don't know who the king or queen of this country is? Uh oh, my mother. She's dead. She's, She's dead. dead. Oh, God. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> at all. No, I it don't watch the news. news I don't crazy. read the paper, I don't watch the news. I've got I find it surprising she doesn't know we have the Queen or did it in this country. I thought Jessica behaved appallingly. Why? Because she didn't know. Determined she was not going to try. And because I want to interject here. I could be completely out of my zone here by saying this, but I have had friends in my life like Jessica who are potentially a little bit unaware of what's going on. And quite often there might be a reason for that. Like there's a reason she might not like things tight on her body. There's a reason she might not like her hair in a different way. There's a reason she might not know current events that typical, a, like neurotypical people might know. I'm not saying she's neurodivergent, but there's no instance of like, oh, potentially Jessica might be just a bit different. And therefore, if you're a bit different, we should stop trying to shoehorn you into this mold that clearly doesn't fit, but maybe just encourage change. Then it, there seems to be no positive reinforcement in this show. It's all just like, you've done it wrong. Shout at you. Now look, you're crying. And that's how, who really learns by being yelled at. Because of that, I mean, I put a big black mark against her. I'd put a big black mark against you for that neckline. Oh, wow. scandalous! She's automatically got a problem with me, guaranteed I'm booted out on Saturday. 
Mm. Yes, of course I want to stay. I don't want to go home a failure, thank you. I want to prove my point. I've come here to be a lady. It's not a failure a if you've realised that this Whether is she not likes for you. It or not. Right, the go. Country Gosh, House right. Weekend is taking place at a stately home in the North Yorkshire Dales. Gosh, I'd love a stately home in the North Yorkshire Dales. When the Ladettes arrive late on Friday afternoon, Sir John and Lady Ropner, their hosts, are there to greet oh, them. Oh, they're there. I thought it looked identical to Eggleston Hall. The girls have come to the party with Liz Brewer, who will be assessing their performance at each stage. Right. But they will also be under observation from below stairs. The butler and maid are under instructions to report back on any mystery. Oh, my goodness, look, the maid. She's under got a traditional to... Ladette to Lady hairstyle. Interesting. Report back on any misdemeanors. Misdemeanor. On you go, up the stairs. Over the next 24 hours, everything they've learned about etiquette will be put to the Etiquette? Test. Me and you are going to get lost, kid. Yes, I think we are. Yes, we're going to the round room. Oh my goodness! It's bigger than my flags. Right, Gosh, how did 1% do live? <laughs> empty bags. Oh right. God, bags. I thought you said anti oh, bags okay. then. Dress up straight no, away. No, you may have come up and empty bags. Oh, empty oh, right. bags. bags yes. I went, Are you anti bags? The girls have been told not to help the staff and not to tip them until the weekend is over. Should we do that? Come on. Do we need to do that? No, you can't know. touch it. You'll get the plague. <laughs> do you want us to do that? Oh, it's okay, Thank you. It's okay. Thanks. Thank you. Oh. But there's worse to come. Oh dear. Liz Brewer has decided to spot Hi, check Haley and Jessica's suitcase. Oh is this how it God. was? Yeah. <laughs> this is disgraceful. Inside out. What is she now? TSA? That was mostly the tops are all inside out. I wonder if they've done this deliberately. I mean, this is ridiculous. What a mess. Sorry, hairdressers in the I audience. Mean, How does one create such vertical, yet also horizontal, curvature of layers? How does one do that? Is that by blow drying or is that by, I don't know, synthetic hair perhaps? This is ridiculous. What a mess. And of course, there are two girls packed together and you've got to sort out whose yeah. is who, and they're not even separated. I think this is disgraceful. It's a bit <laughs> Meanwhile, the eligible bachelors are being shown to their rooms in the adjacent wing. I bet they the don't do any wing. of this, do they? Are they the same ones we saw last time? Did you bring your... Yeah, I actually bring my 12 ball. Hey, he's got far too much hair product in, bachelor. These gentlemen have met the Ladettes on two previous right, occasions, yes, so it's the same men. but never spent the night under the same roof. Right. I think a lot of people have quite a soft spot for Rachel. Um, she was serving, yeah, she was serving me at supper she last time. Serving and, at the uh, trio house. I don't know, a lot of the guys seem to be talking about her. She's a really lovely girl. I think, I think a very dry sense of humour. Uh, so it could be, it could be a lot of fun. I'm sure there'd be sort of a bit of naughtiness after not lights out with the girls. So I don't know. Yeah. Well, I think I'm ready. At eight. Oh, naughtiness with the girls after lights out. Have you ever heard a more off-putting phrase? <laughs> These men would not survive an evening with me. A witch. Clock. The guests will meet for a champagne reception in the ballroom, and this will be the first big test for the ladettes. Yeah. They must look reception. completely at home in this grand. Not the baby oil. Made from 100% pure the babies. Of debutantes. Yeah. The bugs at what work. did I mention earlier? The debutantes. <laughs> no one's going to believe this is me. So. If you don't know what a debutante's ball is, I'll put the definition here on the screen. It's a little bit jarring and it kind of gives me vibes of like high society grooming, for lack of a better word. Oh, until I open my mouth, of course. <laughs> <laughs> the transformation of Michelle has certainly been remarkable, right. but she has her doubts about the motives of the eligible bachelors. I think what worries me is, apart from my bats falling out this dress, is um, the fact that they think this is one huge game and that we're their bit of rough. And, you know, you can go home and it's like, yeah, you know, I met this bird, you know, rough that as fuck exactly and whatever, it. and done her. And I, I would hate for any of the girls for that to happen to any of the girls. She is so intuitive. She knows the situation. She knows how men think. She knows. Because we just saw that man being like, a bit of not in us when the lights out of the girls. Like, she knows. She's, like, she's not stupid. The only person I want to be a bit of rough for is someone who I want to be a bit of rough for. Exactly. You get oh, to choose your destiny. Well, not a bit choose your own adventure. Right. <laughs> Last week, Jessica took a shine to merchant banker Henry Anderson. What's a merchant? I felt it was, I'm afraid, hot water, but not even hot. 
She's keen to look her best this evening. That's a lovely dress. Jess has got a blatant thing for Henry. She's always had a thing for Henry, but I haven't got... No. Oh, this is... No. I don't think they'll approve of a winged liner. Time. None at all. So... You know, no corridor creeping for me tonight, I'm afraid. Yeah. I feel like any sort of high society events like this, there's like two words you can do and practically you've hit the marker and it's avoid looking gauche or looking garish. I do love a stately home. I don't like what they symbolise, but I do love the architecture. Time's not going wrong. Oh, poor thing. See, with a bit of guidance, she could have used a really bit of guidance there. <laughs> you know I'm going to be spitting these out into my soup. They are so Do they need this shot? to be here. For Rachel, I say, because we've been for a walk with the boys already. And Dan said, wonderful, have you got the condoms? Oh, she said, well, of course, we don't need those, right. do we? Because um, we've put a value on ourselves. <laughs> what was that about? What was that? That's a nice dress. <gasps> Nipples out. Nipples out. Is that allowed? Everyone's going to be like, nipples! I do love, I love burgundy. Oh my goodness, is this the character arc I'm developing? Will burgundy be a colour I can add to my repertoire? No. No, I don't think so, but burgundy. <laughs> Look at the coving! Oh, a bump hit. Two bump hits. Two for one on bump hits. So much alcohol in high society. Everyone's off their face. They all, they've all made such a good effort and with their hair and the dresses and, and everything. They've done really and what did you do? Such a transition. Such a transition. And most of them said to me, I feel really good, elegant, they, which is they, lovely. I think underneath them, they're really nice girls. The audio in these old shows. What did he say? I think underneath them, they're really nice girls. Right. Underneath, they're really nice girls. Rachel just is in a very simple black dress. It's very, very relaxed, very easy, very natural. My eyes are. Oh, is that good? When I use words over two syllables, it goes over my eyes. Really? Oh, that's very natural. My eyes are. When I use words over two syllables, it goes over my eyes. Really? I thought that actually Jessica looked, looked very good. I thought that she, the, the red flowing dress suited her very well. They seem to be stunning. So these boys, have you noticed the difference in their candour between being interviewed in the bedroom talking about like naughtiness after dark and when they're in a room of their peers, they're suddenly like, well, yes, actually, I do think she's made a rather good effort this evening. She looks lovely. Perhaps underneath they're all lovely girls. Isn't that an interesting insight into when men like this are in a room where they're like, I know that I can say what I want, but when they're in between their peers, they're like, no, no, we must keep up appearances. Plain dress, you said very well. It's very House really of Lords. Stunning. This was built on in the 1800s. It's silk on walls, it's a Fortuny fabric. Nothing's been changed. It's what they call faded elegance. Most of us have been Elegance appears to be very beige. Only the lessons. The lessons. It'll be what different? Yeah. We, we couldn't cook an egg two weeks ago and now we're called on bleu cocoon. Oh, yeah. What I've tried to impress upon them is don't just stay with the person you know. Move around, do the role. Networking. Talk and talk Something about what they've been difficult. doing. Try and practice their conversation. And they're doing splendidly. Okay. They really are trying. Are we it's having just a com thrilling to listen compliment? to them? Tom, I've, I've got a question. If I could interrupt, I want to ask who, who you're going to choose to take in this evening. I'm going to take in what? the bridge. Who, who you're going to choose to take in this evening. I'm oh my god, are the they gonna this is actually a debutante's ball, they're actually gonna be choosing the lady. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, is it the same lady? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be an argument. Right. Okay, oh, here we go. Sorry to interrupt. That's right. Jessica, may I escort you through to supper? Oh! 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 Can I take you for supper? Right, I see. Take you through to supper. What's that a euphemism for? <laughs> take me! The girls have got off to a flying start. Oh, look at that table. But the meal itself Gosh. presents numerous pitfalls. It's lavish. It's difficult for me to get it under focus. Is there any chance? Yeah. As every lady knows, asparagus should be eaten with the fingers, not with a knife and fork. Oh, absolutely. I'm not touching buttery, buttery liquid butter. 
but Rachel has the perspicacity to take her cue from one of the gentlemen. Oh, yes, you can watch. Yes. I feel like, I don't know, in this situation, would it be wrong to ask a server to be like, and what would you say is the best way to enjoy this? Is that wrong to say? This is completely irrelevant, but for me, when I'm at a party and someone introduces their name and perhaps I've forgotten it, if I come across them later, I, I'll go, and how do I spell that? Even if they've got a really simple name like Sam, because you never know. And that way it's like locked in. Much better if you drench it in butter. Oh. Like drench it in butter. Jessica has drawn the short I don't straw. Want to have She's seated fingers. opposite Lady Ropner, just one along from Liz Brewer, and can only manage a mouthful of asparagus. Oh, does she not like asparagus? <laughs> did you try it? I did try it. Uh... So, Jessica is showing signs of uncomfortability with certain types of fabrics and clothing, uncomfortability with certain types of, like, hairstyles being pushed upon her, and some amount of food aversion. This, to me, indicates something that might need to be treated with sensitivity and not punishment. I but I try. I don't want to offend anyone there. Well How did you train to become a, a gas fitter? Um, I left school and I started working for British Gas. How many people are on the course? 66 zero. And we all got split up into groups of about things about to And I was the only girl. Was it residential? Yes. How did that work out? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Well, she's made him giggle. That's Why has she been given the eldest man here? Okay. The next course is spaghetti. Consomme. By now, Liz Brewer is becoming irritated by Jessica's refusal to eat. Oh dear, it is difficult. As much as it's awkward for everyone to witness her, like, not being able to eat the food, she must feel ten times worse in this position being like, I know what I'm doing is not helping my situation, but I just can't do this. There's a difference between, I don't really want to, and I can't. A little what? That's a big one. I think Jessica's probably going this week. It's, so it's not that. I mean, by all means, it's been called makeup. But I am, like I said, I'm only used to things in my mouth that I've tasted before. If I taste something different, it's a psychology reaction. I'll spit it back out. Well, I believe you, but millions wouldn't. You don't know? It's no argument to bring to the table. It's fine, honestly. I've tried it. She's being so diplomatic about, like explaining here why she might have certain food aversions. This is not the environment in which you are to push your limits. You know when um, uh, people say things like, exposure therapy, just do it and you'll get over it. Yes, in a certain controlled environment by medical professionals, this is not that. <laughs> I do understand that some people can get frustrated, but I also want to say that, like, compassion goes a long way when someone is clearly finding something quite difficult. Expressing an amount of compassion for them can be life-changing. I'm going to knock her out. Oh, dear. By the end of the meal, Jessica has reached the end of her tether. This is going to come to blows, so someone needs to speak to her. Who? Who? I'm not having the someone lady. to drive me in front, of, in front of ladies and sirs. In front of gentlemen, I'm sorry, no. Yes, exactly. As the ladies You're retire to the ballroom, a showdown looks unavoidable. Ooh. Do you know I've had to put up with this for 48 hours? Just, you've got to leave it. I need it's, to speak to Mrs. Yeah. Brooksmith because she is going to but out it's tomorrow. But not, it's not the time or the place, just leave it. Jessica is determined to have it out, but at the last minute, common sense prevails. Oh dear. Jessica, stop. Head up. Just Get smile on your face. Forget. Stop it. I want to stick to you. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Don't you dare give her the Death. satisfaction. Oh, I'm not going to sit. Claire, let's go. Your man. Oh, I like the camaraderie here. I feel like that's very important. <laughs> oh, the butler's like, I saw that. Right, here we go. Night, the party has moved through to the billiard room. The billiard room. Get the whiteboard. What's this? This isn't billiards. <laughs> But Sir John's favourite game involves considerably more physical contact than billiards or snooker. Where's the elegance? 
sir, that's highly inappropriate. By now, Claire is well and truly plastered, oh and her dear. conversation is look. becoming obscene. Oh, what was that? Obscene. Oh, I dread to think. Do you all know who you're following? Yes. Oh dear. You can either sober yourself up and apologise and be and to go look. I really did still see drink too much, but. I've redeemed myself and proved that you're not. Or you can think cock it and drink yourself into a sheep and just act like an atom. What's your call? My call is enjoy yourself, darling. Oh, she's but far Claire too. Claire has managed to charm this. Liz Brewer, and she turns a blind eye to her over-the-top behaviour. Oh, see, see, they love a, they love a fun person. These people don't have fun, do they? Sometimes you need to blend the rules to make them enjoy them. Oh dear. By 2 a.m., the Ropners have gone to bed, and love is definitely in the air. Love? No, Alcohol? No, the fumes? Oh, no, I'm oh dear. Do oh dear. What's this? I can do it. Rachel has. Slut! He's taken off his bow tie! Oh my god! Corporate oh etiquette lesson. Corporate etiquette Five minutes time. What? Can we carry Important etiquette lesson. Are we going to come what you are? It's five minutes time. No audio. We're going to ship you off in five minutes? What? Oh dear, here we go. Is, she's, is she wearing... Oh, they're not wearing mic packs. That'll be why. Push it through. Push this bit through. Oh, is he teaching her how to do a bow tie? Oh, that's kind of cute. Oh dear, girls. Right, okay. Oh, I had an amazing evening. Oh, dear. Absolutely amazing. And I'd do it all again. <laughs> I'd love to see this the other way around. Like, they do one, they do half the season of Ladette to Lady, and then they do Lady to Ladette. Just be like, come on down to Weatherspoons, girl, get 14 for eight pounds. Let's see you go to the clubs. Beautiful. I'd love that. That would be so, like, equ equal. I don't know. That would be entertaining TV. I think they were absolutely fantastic. I mean, they really shone. They were like diamonds coming through that door. Right. And they loved it. Okay, she's not a judge in this show. She's just the host of the Country Manor and she's loving every single one of them. So is this really, I don't know, is this really about reaching high society or is this really about like introducing fun to these people's lives? Going through that door and they loved it. They did themselves absolutely proud. They were wonderful. But okay. as the girls are about to discover, and I bet the verdict of, of like, their no. teachers is another matter. Well, there we go, see? So, manufactured nonsense! At Eggleston Here Hall we go. Finishing School, six ladettes are preparing for an ordeal. An ordeal? One by one, they must face the staff and persuade them that they are becoming ladies. Right. Rachel! As always, the price of failure is harsh. Right. When these 22, over, remember? Yet another girl this person is 22 years old. And a taxi has already been summoned to take her away. Oh, God, right. Do you think you could become a lady? Yes, I do. After last night, I definitely do think I can. The girls are judged not only on their performance... Why has Rosemary the always got the largest ends, scarf possible on? ...progress in all lessons throughout the week. OK. Speech here. I have got the speech weekly reporting here. Yes. You know you've got no great ability, and actually you just talking to me just then. What difference was there? Not a massive. Absolutely none. It's the one thing that really lets a woman down mm -hmm. in society is when she can't hold her drink. Yes. It is taboo. You do not do it. What a shame you let yourself down yet again. Mm -hmm. We're all I think you've let yourself down with that hairstyle, with madam. Yeah. And yet, what do we get? Thrown back at us? Failure. <gasps> yet, the Just lady who hosted the party a said, all oh, brilliant. <laughs> Your bag, when it was unpacked, it was shocking. I get the feeling you actually enjoy being truculent. 
God. Truculent. Oh, truculent. What's this new word? Truculent. What's that? Define truculent. Eager or quick to argue or fight. Aggressively defiant. Do you know, I think I might have a shred of truculence in my, um, I don't know what to call it, repertoire. God. Who the fuck does she think she oh, is? She's definitely got she a problem with Jessica. She said that we packed our bags on purpose. She opened my makeup bag, which she's got no right to do. Yes. Jessica. I feel like this is very much one of those things that they're trying to instill in them is like, somebody's always watching. Perhaps it's a nosy woman nearby or a mother-in-law or a nosy housekeeper. Always assume someone's watching, so make sure you fold and iron your laundry to go into the basket to go on holiday with. Like, it feels like they're trying to instill almost like delicate paranoia. Someone's always watching, so make sure you behave how we expect or there'll be punishment. Who's got the time? I find is going nowhere. Right. Well, that's obviously that not true. Do you feel that you've improved yourself? I do, actually. Last night, I didn't want to get absolutely drunk and make a fool of myself and shout loudly and, you know, flash my knickers or, you know, any of that. I didn't want to do that. She's definitely so, putting on her ha na ra ng ha accent. You've gone flat. Oh, for God's sake. You're applied to hard work. Again, but she's gone flat. What does that mean? What does that mean? Have seen all six She's gone flat! Flat like spaghetti! Ladettes, it's time to decide their fate. It's time. She can't become a lady. A poor lass, it's just not It's got to be Jessica, she has right? She a good figure, she has a good face, she's blonde. I actually think her self-esteem has she's changed blonde? dramatically. I and I think that's far that more, more important than the colour of her hair. Oh. By now, the teachers had their favourites and some sharp differences of opinion have emerged. Oh dear. She's very, very coolly cunning. That doesn't mean that she shouldn't be a lady. Absolutely. She is someone I would have ousted out straight away. Oh, for God's sake, Rosemary. I think she ought to stay. Right, so well, who's it going to be? Here we go. Congratulations on getting as far as the third week. The decisions are becoming harder and harder. Michelle. As always, Michelle has worked hard. Yes. Last night, her grooming... But last time they gave her the critique of, you're just too old to be a lady, so good luck. Is that maybe why they palmed her off with the more mature gentleman in this situation? Dress sense were praised, and she charmed her host. So they have been serviced recently. But she still has many unladylike qualities. <laughs> Does she? <laughs> mm, you've got a long way to go still. A really long way. But you have improved tremendously. Yes, so she's safe. And I think you want to be a lady. And I think you want to change your life. So they're going to put life. you on hormones. You can stay. Gosh, look at that clipboard All right. full of notes. Now, Hayley. Hayley right. has also tried hard. We haven't seen much of Hayley this episode. Ain't my fault. <laughs> and she charmed Lady Ropner at the party. Thank you very much. Thank you. Fantastic dress. We didn't really see her at Jean all Smith at the party. Has never warmed to her. Right, You've yes. got a long way to go. In life, actually. We know about the speech. You have got to now take on board that we've got to hear vowels, etc., rather than a, a, a milly jilly of nothing. We are allowing you to stay a little bit longer. Okay. Claire. Okay, but classes. Last night, Claire oh, got it could totally be Claire, plastered. It? You know what I feel and the others about your alcohol. Yes. It's really ruining a lot of your chances here. But I particularly... So stop putting like her alcohol her. in front of her. At this point in time, you can stay. Oh, I it's going to be Jessica. It's going to be Jessica. It's but you be know, Jessica. you know, don't take that as if it's easy no, peasy. No, no, no. I was, I'm going to cry because I thought I was... I'm... <laughs> Jessica. Jessica has had a bad week. She fell foul of Kate Forrester and Liz Brewer. Last night, an ugly showdown was only avoided after the others intervened. Well, I believe you, but millions wouldn't. She's a bitch. She needs to be sorted out. But Jean Broke Smith has not seen this side of her character and is delighted with her new hairstyle. I like you, I think you're great, but I think you are an attention seeker. But I don't think I'm doing it. You don't know you're doing I it. I don't know. You really don't. But I think you've got a nice little personality there. So you can stay. <gasps> oh, gagged! Oh, no! <laughs> I don't mind, you can all cry. <laughs> oh, gagged at the pageant. She appears to have made real progress this week. She looked great at the party. The and unacceptable. And get your hands off her. Shine her. her. <laughs> oh, my God, who's but going? Oh! Big mistake. 
she's failed to curry favour with any of the staff. Oh no! Who distrusted her ever since her outburst in the village two oh, weeks no. ago. Oh no! Oh no! You started really like here have? with an advantage, because you're a very pretty lady. You've got a fantastic figure. Strangely enough, <laughs> you've travelled this far, but you seem to have died on us somewhere along the line. She's dead. I'm afraid we're going to have to invite you to leave. Gagged! Gagged at the pageant! All right. Okay. Rachel. This week, Rachel got off to a bad... I'm completely gagged! Start. It's so horrible. Nick, can I tell you something? But last night, she was a hit with one of the bachelors and remembered what she was taught in her sexual etiquette lesson. But Ugh. Jane broke what Smith hasn't phrase, forgotten her sexual etiquette lesson. about her haircut. You're still very immature. She's 22. You she's allowed that. to be. OK. You are. And I hope in your future life, you whatever you do, free? I'm saying that in your future life, you've got to continue with this word sophisticated over your head. But you have improved. I think your hair looks fantastic now. We're going to allow you to stay. <gasps> oh, <longer>. gagged! <laughs> <You're sorry. laughs> Mr. Shaker, over to you. You have got precisely 20 minutes. All right, 15 minutes to pack and five minutes to say goodbye. <laughs> Do you think April was upset? Really? Yes. Do you? Oh, yes. Because of the oh, way she absolutely. reacted. Mm. The fact that she said, oh, that's fine. Okay. I think she was definitely fighting tears. Okay. Because it's obviously oh my got their favourites, which is, is fine. I don't have a problem with that at all. And I don't mind that, but, to be quite honest, either. I have been it's blindsided. Just, it's, all too, um, it's, all, it's quite hard work being here. And, uh, and it's, you know, they say one thing, they say, oh, you want, we want you to be a lady. And then I, I think I'm quite good at being a lady, but they obviously, excuse me. Is this why they didn't <laughs> change her well, like hair colour pattern? I really don't. Is everyone is I'm just gonna, I will, I'm gonna be But hey ho, another week of torture and pain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all good. Oh, oh why are you all sitting there shaking your heads? We're all shocked that it's you. I'm so I'm shocked. shocked. Because we didn't. They want personality, they want challenges. Do you know what I mean? Yes, they she's got a point. They, they, they yeah, personality and challenges make TV. Oh, there they are, oh, curtain twitching. She's smiling. She's smiling, she's totally together. Mm. She's she's a tough cookie, you know. I think she is. Take care. Take care. Take care. Well done. Nice one, well 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 Oh my gosh, my loves, I've got some thoughts. Well, my lovelies, in a complete dramatic turn of events, I've got some thoughts. The blonde is gone, Biscuit. Oh no. What a weird episode this was. It was kind of like reality television sanctioned escorting in an awkward sense of the phrase wasn't it little biscuit oh you're very sleepy today i know it's really hot we'll go for a nice walk later i'm genuinely shocked that they chose to evict april here most of the challenges in this show seem to revolve around alcohol and i'm guessing that from the uh, appearance of this show maybe something i didn't quite anticipate maybe now that i'm on a sober journey myself just over a year, I didn't realize how much alcohol is like around the high society and the elite classes. Because in this situation, I would have been like, actually, I don't drink alcohol. And I wonder if that would have affected my chances in becoming a lady from a Ladette girls. I don't know why. I try and always frame a point of reference in these shows of like how it would affect me. Trying to put myself and my own story in these women's shoes tries to give me like an idea of reference because I feel like a lot of my audience members might be in a sort of similar position to me thinking, how would they survive on a show like this? I feel like, Forced socialization when alcohol is involved in sort of like a debutante's ball situation is kind of, oh, do you want to hide? <laughs> is kind of bizarre to watch. Especially seeing as as soon as alcohol is involved in these situations, inhibitions go down. Especially when we saw those two men in that room being like, well, after dark, we might play with the ladies. What Michelle said was on the ball. She's not dumb. She knows the game. They want a little bit of rough or they want to be on TV seeing a little bit of rough. Like that's fun, a bit different to maybe the type of women that they're used to already in these high society circles. This show is opening a lot of questions to me about classism, about misogyny, about how people's perception of others shapes how they interact with them. I don't 
know, do you get the same vibe as me, my loves? I feel like some of you might do. This show in particular always creates quite a stir and a discourse in the comments because we're kind of presented with a lot of situations that are kind of a bit gross to watch and they're just full on full display. Again, the strange sort of production element of the judges versus the actual high class society people. Like none of these judges are actually from like the elite realm of society. The person that we've seen in the show that is was the host of the the Yorkshire Dales house. And she said, I loved them all. They were lovely, very vibrant characters. I loved having them in my home. Either way, my loves, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode, because it's been a little bit of a ride. Let me know what you think about today's video in the comments box below, my lovelies. And with that, it's time for the Patreons, isn't it, Biscuit? Yes. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen, my lovelies. Yes, you can. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Samoji, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crown, over, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Fable and Flourish, Jamie Clark, Jen Martin, Jennifer Herman, Jin Woo Choi, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Laura Jane again, Les Banana, Lizette Cares, Millie Hammond, Min Min Tien, Mariah Sherman, Novembrix, Paola Rivera, Ryan Vita, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, The Chaos Collective, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my loves? I'm going to leave it on the note of if you're invited to a high society ball and you feel like someone might be putting a little, getting a little bit too handsy with you, say something. Absolutely say something. The reason why these people get away with it is because no one said anything to them. Personally, I feel like self-preservation is more important than appealing some absolute nonsense man's ego. But that's just me. Anyway, my loves, I'll see you in the next one.